Welcome back guys to Midnight Gaming. Today I have something special for you, but first I want to say thank you to everybody that has sus subscribed uh, in the last two weeks. I've gotten a great amount of uh, followers, especially those in the Chicagoland area. Thank you for supporting your little mini uh, YouTuber, I guess, uh, aspiring YouTuber. Um, but thank you guys, and I'll go ahead and get into this. Uh, just give me a quick second so I can turn on the other camera. Sorry, this quality is pretty bad. I'm using like a front-facing iPad mounts it to a wall but I'm gonna go ahead and just get into it so give me one second all right guys thank you for waiting for that quick split second I know I probably I'm gonna edit all that out but uh first up I just want to say again thank you to the subscribers thank you to my locals and uh, my friends that are always supporting this channel um, I, I don't I, I don't know what I do without you guys uh, the game's a lot more fun definitely with friends but I'm gonna go ahead and just get into this so uh, last week, as you guys saw, I posted the UDS uh, qualifier uh, deck profiles. I actually topped that one. Um, I focused more on editing everybody else's videos before, like I worked for the week, like during the week. So like sometimes I just don't have uh, time or anything like that. But I did top with this exact same deck. I didn't change a single thing for the world's thing, and I'll get into that in a second. But um, I did get, I think it was third, third place. They didn't really show the top four. Like it was just. I was like in the, one of the last people playing against one of the last two people to go up for playing for first and second, but I did top that. Um, I got top four. Uh, I think maybe I got third or fourth. I don't, I'm not sure. They didn't really tell, but I got this pin and uh, this lanyard, and that was pretty cool because it was uh, honestly the first time I played in a UDS. Um, since I've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh for about a year and a half now, I got back into it. I stopped playing. Um, so I played and I did really well and I enjoyed myself. I actually picked this deck up because of my friends, uh, locals, Eddie and Fernando were, and everybody else, Jose, Marcelo, I'm not going to name everybody, but, and uh, JP of course, but uh, yeah, like, uh, they just told me I should probably play Goki, uh, it's really combo based, I wanted to learn the things, I watched YouTube channels, I watched them learn how to do it and stuff like that, and I just picked up some of the things. Uh, and also this weekend I actually played at the, because that was last weekend for the US, this weekend I actually played at the World Championship um, like a yearly event thing and I actually got second at that so that was pretty cool and um, I won this, uh, it has both of the promo cards, I don't know if I want to open it yet, um, it's sealed but both the Blue Eyes and Dark Magician are in here sealed. Um, Maybe I'll post the pictures of that. I don't. I haven't decided yet. Maybe at the end of it, I'll change my mind. But uh, yeah, I was gonna go to my own locals, but I overslept, so I quickly looked on uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh Facebook group for Chicago, I think whatever, and I asked around, and then I found out that everything games I've already maybe posted somewhere around here or whatever, maybe down there. I don't know. But um, I went to their locals because they had one at 6:30. And uh, I asked online if they were going to be using the world's format list because that's what I wanted to play. Like I was going to probably play Goki, like just edit it with all the cards that are like either limited or semi-limited or banned or whatever. And I was going to go ahead and just edit the deck like that and just play for fun. And they told me that they were not going to follow the list. So that was kind of weird. So uh, I didn't really get to do the whole world's thing even though I won the world's. Uh, event so they just kept the regular one and when I went to the locals it was literally like stepping into like <laughs> I don't know how to explain it it's like everybody was super friendly it was like there was no negative attitude there um, it was $10 to get in I only got one o OTS pack I guess but you can choose between like older OTS packs and they had like whatever which was kind of weird because my locals at Top Cut you normally pay $10 and you get um, two packs but I'm rambling anyways so I got second uh, the pricing was weird they gave five packs out they gave me this uh, how it worked is you played four rounds and then if you were you and another person were undefeated depending on the people um, you guys would have to play it out for top eight in my last round I actually tied against Altergeist because it was just like a grindy game and I just kept getting negated everything and I just kept playing through and they were just hitting me for like 500. So I ended up tying that game uh, in game two because of just I was flying through my combos, trust me. But yeah, I ended up winning this, uh, the divider. Uh, this is just something they give out in these packs. So I'm gonna do the deck profile and I'll open up the pack, sorry. 
in nutrition. I'm a human being. I'm just kidding. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and move these to the side. Of this, um, I really like this pen. I just haven't opened it, as you guys can see. Um, but yeah, I'll go ahead and get into it. So this deck is very combo based. It's a lot of fun. Um, and yeah, so I'll just get straight into it. So, anyways, I played uh, three super bricks. Uh, Self-explanatory. If you know anything about Yu-Gi-Oh! Super X, just normal summon and you get the special summon, uh, Goki, and then if it leaves the field, you search. So I played three of those. I also played two Twist Cobras. Uh, some people put three, but I, I like playing two because you either make your board you lock or you like get crafty with however else so you're going to win. Uh, I played two Octo Stretch to make sure I always have a target with Isolde. Um, I played two headbat so I could at least search one to special summon and then also if some reason I got the uh, octo stretch then I would have a headbat I can search out because I had played uh, two equip spells in the deck. And then with the one ofs I played a uh, Goki Bear Hug uh, just to have a Goki name. Goki Rescorpio, it's again. And then all the non Goki monsters is uh, three junk forwards, special summon themselves. I played this deck that I played was mostly for consistency. Like I, people play different variations, but I was I 100% just want consistency. So I played three Marauding Captains and I paired them up with uh, two Aqua Dolphins or yeah, two Marauding three Marauding Captains and two Aqua Dolphins, and it's because I like you like normal summon this, and then it says summon one level four or lower. From your hand, so you could do the aqua dolphin, and then you do the aqua dolphin effect to pretty much hit their hand for like a hand trap because all the hand traps that are meta right now are like zero attack. So it says like if you control something or whatever. And like I only missed against the alter guys player because I didn't even know he was playing uh, at first, and then I saw his hand, and then I pretty much was trying to gumblar his hand out so I wouldn't get uh, floodgated by all the traps and stuff like that. And then. Um, this is something I like playing, uh, always helpful. Uh, I play three Predipent over Scorpio because it's level three, and uh, one Predipent, run Predipent, one Predipent, Darlington Cobra. Um, and this is just so you can search out Instant Fusion to help you extend, and then um, also it's two level three, so you can go into MX Saber Invoker and to bring out another warrior just in case. Like it's just for all consistency. And then uh, for the hand traps, because it wasn't really the world's list and it was just a regular's list, uh, I played three Ash instead of the two that I was going to play. Um, I was actually really upset that they didn't follow the thing, but it's whatever. So I played the three Ash, and I actually made the two Ghost Bell because I figured other people were going to be playing Goki, and if it was in the handy, I would just you know get rid of it because this middle of their combo, and you just they like they're like rematch, and you're like Ghost Bell, like. Their combo is done pretty much. Uh, and then, of course, the one Nightmare Corruptor, Ibli. Um, and then I also played two Goki Rematch, because um, why not? This actually helped me um, win game two against the Alter Guys player, because like I didn't even get to make a U lock board because they were just hitting me with like a bunch of stuff, like negations and stopping me. So I actually just beat him down to. Uh, What's it called? With just regular Gokis, like, I had Suprexes and Scorpios, and he kept sending back for his, uh, Suprex back to my hand, and I was like, all right, man, that's cool, and then he would uh, send, uh, like, a Goki to the graveyard and stuff like that, like, and then I would just bring him back with rematches or whatever. And then the two that I played, I like this one. Um, I saw this from one of the online profiles of, I think it was actually the World uh, Gabe from Team Sam or whatever, but I saw this and then I read it and I tried to figure out how it worked and then I finally understood it. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool and then this card just lets you explode. And then I played two Instant Fusion just in case I like, so maybe you could draw one and then you always have to search with it. Uh, and then, yeah, I'll show you what I have for that. And I played the one Rota. I played three Called by the Graves. This always helped me in every situation, especially against the Ultra guys. Like, I would just hit stuff, like, while they're, like, trying to do stuff. And, like, the hand traps mid-play, they'd be like, oh, no, Ash. Like, super confident, and I'm, like, literally have my hand down, and, because I'm trying to, like, send my Goku to the grave. I'm like, wait. I pick up my hand, I'm like, Called by the Grave, you're done. Uh, Soul Charge, and Monster Reborn. All right, next up, I have the extra deck. Um, 
like I said, I want to play consistency. Most people only play one. I played Isolde, Two Tales of the Noble Knights. Uh, just, you know, just in case you get, keep getting negated and you have to play like a grind game, like you can't always U lock. Most of the time you can, but if they have a bunch of negations, like you gotta play differently. Uh, Underclock Taker uh, for the combo, Link Kribo for the U lock. Uh, Gumbar, I would do it when I just wanted, like, if I. Um, if I Aqua Dolphin and I saw your hand and I saw what you're playing and I just didn't like it and I realized that maybe you need more than some card, more than just like one card in your hand, I would usually uh, Gumblar, Gumblar them uh, and not make the U lock just so I'm like, what are you gonna do? Like, like I still have a negation with Trigate on the board or whatever. Uh, Firewall because of the combo. Two Nightmare Goblins because I, pl I don't play that Phoenix thing that people like doing. I don't know. I, some of the first one, no effect, is just there to bring out Mermaid. It's pretty much a sacrifice. Um, I guess I could just make a, get a different one. I don't know. But yeah, and then one for the extra normal summon. Uh, the Mermaid for the combo as well. Uh, Unicorn to shuffle problem cards. Um, Cerberus, of course. And Phoenix go together. Uh, I was actually playing around one match and got rid of one of, I actually got rid of the goblin. Like I was just trying to see what I could do, like make different combos. I, I just got too confident and I got Rekka Keyed and I was like, oh man, okay, next next game I can't do that. Like I just scooped it up as soon as I got Rekka Keyed. Uh, and then I got the Trigate Wizard because it's pretty good. And then this is for the level threes. And then uh, this is also for the instant fusion because like sometimes you don't always get, like you get Marauding Captain and Aqua Dolphin and you need to get like just one Goki, you just need one Goki to go to, go to grave in your foot, you're good. So, um, that's the extra deck, that's 15, extra deck of course, um, and 40 in the main. Uh, side deck, I did uh, two dead reboots, never saw them, sided them in against uh, the uh, Alter Guys, uh, Twin Twisters, the Triangular Back Rows, evenly, I sided those in, I never saw them. One Regeki, because I needed a 15th card, and I kind of made this deck last minute. Like the extra deck, or not the extra deck, the side, yeah, side deck, because I just like playing without a side deck to see if I can play differently without having to rely on one. But the three jewel and lock where side of those in when appropriate, never can't. And I swear, every time I side in anything, I never get it, but I get the, uh, this has a third Neospatial Aqua Dolphin and then two Gamma Seal. And I usually side out the part of Plant Engine uh, and anything that costs life points once you like win game one. Um, but yeah, so that's that, and then, because these are prizes, I, don't, I still don't want to open this. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll open it, I don't know yet. Um, I really want to just look at the cards, this is, like, I earned them. Like, um, but yeah, so uh, now I'm going to go ahead and open up the pa packs. They gave, like, five packs to both first and second, I think, I don't remember. I actually lost in points because the the, the tie, I was going to have to play it out, I'm pretty sure. But then he, the other guy ended up with 12 points and I ended up with 10. Because it was like 3, 3, 3, 1, yeah. So 10. So, uh, alright, let's see. I got a Hayate. Super rare, not bad. Super rare. But yeah, he ended up winning it and getting the play mat. And he was almost going to sell his cards for super cheap and then the play mat for like 100 or something. I think that's how much they're worth. Um, another super rare. I'm not surprised if I don't get anything good because the box was like not even a brand new box. Um, the other guy actually pulled the Secret Rare Morningstar. Let's say Magnus. Magnus. Um, so these packs are just like in the box. Like it was like, I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, Noble Knight last pack. And these are probably gonna go in my bulk box. Oh, I got a Cyber Dragon Hearts. At least I got an Ultra Rare. But uh, thanks again, guys, for watching. Uh, thank you for the support. If you like my videos, please comment, subscribe, and like. Let me know how I'm doing. And I uh, hope you guys have a great week. Um, I might upload another video this week because I actually had something else planned. But uh, yeah, uh, take it easy, guys.